All right, this is what's going on. For the longest time, my favorite team to assemble are ones like this. I can't even count at this point how many just power teams I've done since like MLB 16, maybe? This year, I've been trying to raise the power levels every single time that I've done one of these games. I think the last one I did, I did 115 overall power for the team. That was the highest I've ever done. I couldn't believe that was even possible, really. Although, that was kind of unfortunate because I had to use, I think, one player out of position. So it wasn't even technically, you know, a team that even should have been assembled. It was just a make-believe thing. Anyway, I'm getting off track here and I'm just... I don't even think any sense is being made. So this is going to be a team of players with the highest overall power in their respective positions. So every single player right now has the highest overall power, not just versus one side, because I could have used players like Dietrich at second base. He has 120 power versus righties, but versus lefties, it's like 50 something. So his overall power is, I don't know, I'm, I'm terrible at math. So I have no idea what his overall power would be, but Muncie technically has better power because he has 100 versus both sides, so he has the better overall power. Nobody has a secondary right now. It's whatever their primary position is, whoever has the highest overall power is who is playing right now. There isn't too many players with max... I don't think there's any besides Pete Alonso, actually. Pete Alonso is the only player in the game right now who has maxed out power versus both sides. I am out of breath, for fuck's sake. Why am I out of breath? Mike Piazza is behind the plate. I think he's the only catcher with above 100 power versus both sides. I hate using Mike, but he's probably the only catcher who would make sense doing this. Vlad Jr., the home run derby versions at third base. He has the best power for a third baseman in the game with 124 versus both sides. This is Christmas right now. This is Christmas music is all I'm hearing in the background from all of this power. Ernie Banks was just released. He was in the last inning program and he's the only shortstop with above 100 power versus both sides i gotta stop eating wet shit before i do these videos because my mouth is all watery and there's this liquid flying out of my mouth right now you drink a glass of water and it's all over so thank the heavens that ernie banks was released because i think the only other shortstop who has i think over 100 power only has over 100 power versus both sides and that's paul DeYoung, i think Oh, well, Bo, I guess, technically, too, since he just got released. Max Muncie has the lowest power in this team, and he has 100 versus both sides. Stanton is in right field. I used this Stanton a couple of games ago, and he was destroying everything he saw. 112 and 125 in right field. I almost screwed this shit up. I was going to put Griffey in center field, and Willie Mays has better overall power than Griffey. I had to bring out Google and Google the average of two numbers. That's exactly what I searched on Google. I put in the numbers of Willie Mays and Griffey, and Willie Mays, I think, had an average of 112 power, and Griffey had 111.5 or something, so it was very close. Math. What the hell is that? Jock Peterson's in left field. And I almost messed this up too, actually. I was going to put Joey Gallo in left field, who has 120 and 124. But Peterson does have, I think, one. I'd had to bring out the damn average of two numbers again for this. Hell, I don't know. After what I saw in Math 10 Academic, I will never see things ever again. I walked in on the first day, and I saw my teacher walk up to the front of the class, start writing a bunch of numbers, letters, symbols I didn't even know existed. I swear they drawed a picture of an animal. Find the value of X. Yeah. All right. The bench is going to be insane too for this. Although this isn't going to be just who has like the best overall power to that is what at a specific position, if I can speak. Griffey is on the bench too. He has 114 and 109. Frank Thomas has maxed out power versus lefties, so that's pretty incredible. Guriel was actually, he was the player I put at shortstop for the last time I did this. And Jeff Bagwell, I haven't even used him yet, but he honestly pisses me off just for the simple fact that those damn moments he had to do with them, I could barely get a hit. So of course, the main mission for this is to see how many home runs can be hit. I'm not going to power swing because I feel like, I don't know, I don't even know if that really works. I'm kind of getting up there in the ratings too somehow. I'm 709 right now. I honestly haven't been playing as much ranked as I probably should have been. I don't know, but I'm going to try. If if the last, you know, couple of days, I may just sit here and try and play as much ranked as possible and see if the mountaintop can be reached. But I mean, this team should still be able to win. This is amazing. Wow. This is exactly what I wanted. I wanted to face a lefty. 
But he does have Ichiro in his lineup, so that's unfortunate. Playing in Baltimore. I hate Baltimore. Although, I do feel like a lot of home runs are hit when you play in Baltimore, so this might even be better. Come on, Billy. Have a, have a four for four game, why not? Right? Get the fuck out. That's gonna stay in. If I don't get a lot of home runs this game, this is gonna be pathetic. You have the lefty on the mound. There's only two lefties in the starting lineup. Why do I feel like Cole Hamels is a pain in the ass to face? That was awful. All right, this this seems like this is how it always begins anyway. I don't wanna see it, Ichiro, man. I know what he's thinking. I know it. Huh. Might be the first time Ichiro's hit anything other than to left. Gidry needs a big performance, a big one. The last time I used Gidry may have been the worst pitching display ever, and that's saying something on this channel. What on earth is that? After I just said I need a big outing, is anyone else kind of with me when it's like sometimes you think you locate a pitch and the ball is seven feet below or high? If there's anyone with a fierce stance, it's Stanton. That's gone. That wasn't even fucking close. That's gone. I swear to God. He hasn't gone with a fastball yet to Mike. He might have to right now. 3-0, green light central. He walked Mike. Although, I don't know if I want it. Oh, yeah, kind of, I guess. He might walk him. Yep. He's probably smart. You have got to be shitting me. There is no way Gidry just came up with a lefty-lefty RBI. This guy must be losing his mind. Ugh. I just can't center up a ball with Willie. Oh, no. No. Fuck. That's a nice fastball. I mean, hey. This is gonna, this is gonna be good. I'm sick of pitching like a large idiot. Like that's a nice one. Now get this low and my ass is sweating. He meant it. Oh my Jesus. Gidry might be putting on a show today. Dude. I'm, I'm just kind of at the point now where like I don't even know if I really care about the stats for a pitcher. I just want to use somebody I can locate a pitch with. That is absolutely crushed to the moon. Don't even tell me Ernie Banks is going to make things interesting. No, I can't say that. I cannot take Bo out of shortstop. I should be thrown in a cat cage for even thinking that. Please, no, Jesus. I want a hanging curveball to stand right now. That's what I'm looking for. Hanger. Wow. Everybody might be roasting everything. This is what I like to see. Lad. It might be caught, but... Oh, no, it wasn't. I swear if he made that play... He does have Ichiro in center field. How did he not catch that? I'm going to wet myself. I'm going to wet myself if any more hits happen. How is this going on? No, wait. Stay. You know what he just did? He paused and possibly wanted to walk Pete again. But after what happened last time... The bat might take Camels out, and this is not going to be good if he does. Unless he brings in another lefty. Oh, damn it, Batman. He did take him out, didn't he? Oh. Look at Vladdy. A vacuum cleaner at third base. Dude, when Willie Mays hits the ball, the ball is hit. You know when you square something up with Willie Mays, because that ball is rocketing off the bat. I was, I sat there and said breaking ball. I don't know if that's a stupider move, really. No, don't go. Oh, a boy, Jock, that's a nice little single right there. No, I'm an idiot. That's the second time in a row. Kid. I just don't understand. I want to see a hit chart on each row. The vacuum cleaner. He gobbles every single aspect of baseballs up. That is crushed. Oh, 
Can we get a distance on that, please? Oh, I'm not waiting for that for some reason. Don't let the bats disappear. The bats cannot go into the abyss. That's gone. That might hit the lights. Can we get a distance on some of these balls? Can we get an appeal? Buddy down the first baseline has a brain from what I saw this game. Buddy down the third baseline has rib sauce dripping off his ankles. No. He's trying to pull an Ichiro. Oh, God damn it. That's the first time he has somebody on base. I don't even remember pitching from the stretch. Jesus. That was close. Hey, Gidry, your ass is staying in the game at this point. He might get a double. Gidry. That was very close. No stay. There's no point. There's nobody out still. Ernie. Did Ernie do it again? No, he did. But it went off the wall. Ernie, this was the last game I wanted Ernie to go off. Crush. That's cough. Whenever they run with their arm in the air, it's cough. You know, you can always put Bo at second base, right? Damn it. Ernie is making my brain work too hard this video. That's... I thought destroyed. I mean, it was, but... Not enough. But his job was done. And bats came to play today. Good Christ. Muncie. Who hasn't got in on the action at this point? Fuck. Wait. I'm kind of starting to feel bad for this guy. This guy isn't catching a break. That might just prove... Ugh, I haven't had one good at bat with Pete. But that might just prove that diving grabs are just impossible to make in the outfield. Did that ball not just go off his glove? Here's a little chopper up the middle to his left. Thanks. And the off-balance throw beats... Ernie is putting on a show today. Ernie is barehanding balls he doesn't even need to barehand. And he's just punching me in the face. Electronically. I might put Ernie Banks' ass at short and then move Bo to second base because I'm kind of sick of using Alomar anyway. Huh. This one is crushed. Jesus. That's the last pitch I probably should have thrown after a home run. I hate having big leads because I'm scared that I'm going to choke every time. Willie Mays, man. Willie Mays is really growing on me. I don't know if anybody hits the ball harder than Willie Mays when you actually square it up. I don't think it's a possible thing. I mean, Ernie just got robbed out of his third hit. Nice slaughter. Jesus. I don't even think he barely has a strikeout this game. Nice. This might be... You know what? I'm not even going to bring it up. Whatever I bring up is jinxed before the word is even out of the mouth. What the? How did he even get a piece of that? Stanton! Stanton is hitting the ball too high. That's the problem. He buddy from Major League to come in this game and tell him, you know, hi. I'm not even fucking joking. I swear... Fuck. I, I am not even joking. I feel safer with like a one run lead than an eight run lead. Because when you lose, when you're lose or when you're winning by one and the opponent comes back and wins, it's like, all right, well, that just sucks. You lose when you're up by fucking eight at one point. It's like, am I even a human being? Okay, that was a nice slaughter. Otherwise, that's hit to the moon. Ah. All right, only one more inning to go. How many home runs have been hit? I don't even know. A couple, at least. 
That pitch gets crushed. I don't know why, but outside cutters honestly should be the best pitch ever, but they always get destroyed. Actually, that one was kind of down in the middle, but still. Pete. Willie Mays has three hits. Did I not just say at the beginning of this I want him to go like four for four? Man. I just... How the, how the hell? Why is every hit that Ichiro puts in play just a little blooper over the third baseman's head? It's just weird. I mean, I thought the team was going to hit a couple of home runs. I didn't think it was going to end up being 10-2, possibly, with like 17 hits. This is like fucking homeward bound two. I don't think anybody expected that. He's crushing the ball with Eddie Murray. That might be it, though, isn't it? Yeah. Mike Piazza is player of the game. He was four for four? Huh. I did not know that. He had a home run, a double. I'm assuming a single. Dude, he was a triple away from the cycle. Ernie Banks was two for six, but he could have had a couple other ones, too. Willie Mays was four for six. I thought he had three hits. I need Willie to go, like, four for four. He was four for six, so at least he had the amount of hits I needed. You want to talk about a solid performance. Gidry went the distance and only gave up three hits. I think Gidry deserves a... Dairy Queen Blizzard right now. Give him one where the, the top 50% is all Oreo and ice cream, and then the bottom half of it is just plain ice cream. That's the best. That's what Gidry deserves. So I think he's staying in.